Thank you. Um, what is the what is the Wi-Fi password here? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Swadika, what is going on? It's 11.30 in the morning. I'm at this beach called Hard Yell, which is literally just down the road from my house. Beautiful view. I'm at this cafe, or this bar rather, restaurant bar called Vega Bar. <clears throat> Faces the beach, and you have this amazing view. With seating area and swings and stuff. Um, got the password. Perfect. Thank you so much. Cheers. All right. Let me just uh, put in the password here so we can get some Wi-Fi. My data ran out. Beautiful beach. Let me show you around. White sandy beaches, man. Beautiful aqua, aqua blue water. Island architecture. <laughs> That's my breakfast coming. Cool, let me clear my table. Thank you. Perfect. Come on, come. Got myself an omelette, some bread, some jam, some butter, and a mango shake with yogurt. Cost me around, I think it was 150 for this and about 70 bucks, 70 baht for this. So around $10 New Zealand, roughly. Not bad. There's this place called Bubas or Bubas and they have this shakshuka. Oh my god, I had it last night, sorry, yesterday. And all oh, the flavors were so fucking good. Next time I go there, I'll see if I can take a video there. Next time I go, take my camera with me. The food there is nice. If you're in Kopanyam, you gotta check out that place. Bubas or Bubas. It's uh, in Hard Yell. Beautiful food. And this one here too, Vega Bar. Beautiful setting. There's pros and cons to each. The other place has probably better food, I think, but no view. This place has got like A plus 10 out of 10 view. But the food's good. The food's good. I like the others better though. They have shakshuka and they have other options which they don't have available here. But anyway, let me have this meal. I don't know why I don't come here much. My house is like literally two, two minutes up the road. I um, seem to be traveling around the island a lot, going to city center, checking out other places. Sometimes when you stay, where you stay, you neglect because you feel like you already stayed there and you've seen it all. But, but it's a nice area. I should spend more time here. got around 10 days remaining here here in Thailand legally I can stay here for 30 days 
visa free as a New Zealand passport holder. And then I have to, uh, I think, exit the country and come back and reset. But most likely I'm going to stay here probably one or two days over. There's going to be a little penalty fee which I have to pay. Probably about $20 a day in New Zealand. And um, then head over to either Dubai or Europe. Still trying to find a place in Europe somewhere that I can go and settle um, until Ukraine is back to normal. I may have mentioned in the past I live in Ukraine. This year has been all over the show. Since the, uh, the invasion happened in February, I have actually been to... So since February, I've been to Georgia, I've been to Croatia, I've been to Spain, I've been to Montenegro, I've been to Germany, I've been to Australia, and I've been to Thailand. Lots of places I've traveled this year purely because of the war and trying to figure out where I'm going to go. Even next month when I go back to Europe. Deciding where to go, I like Eastern Europe. So places like, you know, I'm going to have to look for places like Romania and, and uh, west of Ukraine perhaps, away from the war. Maybe even Poland. Belarus is another option. Have you guys ever traveled to Eastern Europe? If you have, where? If you haven't, why not? Let me know. I started my uh, travels with Czech Republic. I remember first leaving New Zealand three or four years ago, I think it was, traveling to Czech, Czech Republic, Prague. I was blown away at where I was. I was only there for a week. Um, and short, you know, short visit. And I was just surprised by what I had seen. I was like, I gotta come back. And I kept coming back to Prague three or four times, five times. I think I've been there now. And I actually moved to Ukraine because I was on the way to Prague. I was going through visa applications and all that stuff to actually move to Prague. And during COVID, uh, they shut everyone out. So my plans were like halted in the middle. Um, Ukraine was the only country, or one of the few countries in Europe, that were, you know, open. They were allowing, pe uh, allowing people to come in and out with little restrictions. And I went there only for a week, and one week turned into two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, two months, three months. And I got myself a three, three year visa, got an apartment, and chose Kiev, Ukraine, to settle in. Great decision because I fucking love Kiev, Ukraine. Miss it so much. Some side talk, huh? The sun's out and it's amazing. Look at this one. Hmm. Some 
plans for today for me are to do some live admin, reach out to some people which I've been meaning to reach out for some time, family and friends, um, plan for the month ahead, because I'm going to be leaving Thailand soon. Get some laundry done, a little housework, and depending on how things go, how the day goes, I might get a massage at the end of the uh, end of the day. So easy Sunday, but at the same time, a lot of important things to do.